Okay, we'll start with the Mustard R30, size 12, dry fly hook. This is the sepia done. I've got sheer claret. So we'll just put a little tying thread on the hook shank. I want to go back to about there. This piece of thread that I've just pulled off we need to keep. And just go back to there. And I've got some dark done fibbits. What I do when I've got three, I just wet them between the lips and this will keep them together and the same length. So what we want now is we'll just measure the tail, flatten my tying thread. I want to keep these on top of the hook shank so I make two or three loose turns and then I'll just pull them up and then we can go back to that There we are. So we'll just go back up and over the ends of the fibbits to about there. And we can remove those. And we want to set the tails. So that piece of tying thread we had earlier, I have to apologise for my uh, grubby fingers here. We've had the first few days of spring here in southern Norway and I've taken the opportunity to work in the garden. So what we want to do is just open those few bits up and we put the thread up one in between each and this will keep the tails in position. So once we're just there, we can just make a couple of turns to hold that tail anchor in position. And we can position the tails as we would want them, that's good. Then we can take this and we fold it over few turns and remove that. Flatten my thread again and then we'll go up to here. We need a little length of para post which we'll just attach there make five or six turns towards the tail and then we'll trim that off at an angle flatten my thread again go back up To go a little bit further forward with that just to get the wing in the correct position there we go and then I'll just support that with a few tight turns in underneath and then we can just support the base of the post Oops. ready for the hackle there we are once that's done, we can go back here to there. Then we want three moose mane hairs. 
Uh, I like to keep my, I separate my moose hair, main hairs, clean them, prepare them and keep them in cigar tubes so all the different colours are ready to tie with. So what we want now is a creamy coloured one and two dark ones. The sepia done has a very uh, distinctive segmented body. So we get the three ends of the moose mane hairs and we just tack these in at the rear. We go over, try and keep your thread flat here so we keep the body slender and we go back to the tail base like so and then we can go back up all the way to the wing post then take our three hairs keep them parallel important at this stage we need to wrap these hand over hand so they don't twist. Let's get that first turn in. There we go. And we go up. abdomen and towards the thorax. This is the earliest mayfly, this and the Vespertina in Norway to hatch and most other places, North America as well, it's a very early mayfly. We just touch those in like that and then we'll just use those three hairs to stiffen the post base again for the hackle. And we just go up to there and then we can go back down again. Like that. Lock that off. Pull the hairs to one side. Trim them off. And it's looking good. So what we can do then is just apply a tiny drop of varnish to the pore space just to stiffen it up to take the hackle. So I prepared a chocolate done hackle by stripping one side. I'll just go behind the post there and I want to tie this in in a cross like that so we get it central on the post and we want a little bit of the strip stem just above the top of the post so I can pull that down a little bit to there that's perfect and then what I can do is just tie that in go up to the top and then back down again and trim off that there and we'll just fold that up to secure it it's a little bit too long I'll trim a little bit more off that there we are and we'll secure that and then we finish at the rear of the post again and tie in a fine length of peacock curl and go forward and then we can attach our hackle plier Oops. To tie those down, and we can wrap our thorax all 
the way forward, cross over the thread, cut the turns behind, remove your hackle plier, and we can fold that back and go in front. Then we can just turn the vise like that so I don't cut any tying thread. Oops. Remove the peacock hole. We take a tiny drop with varnish on the tying thread and we just go around there like that. One more in. And we can remove that. And turn that around. Like so. Then we can reattach our tying thread to the Post base, go right down into the thorax, and we can remove that loose end. Take our hackle, have to bend this around. first couple of turns and I'll attach my ankle plier each turn falling directly under the previous and when we get to about there what I like to do is remove Some of those. And so I get a clean tie off point on the ankle stem. Remove the ankle plier. And we can remove. Surplus hackle, and again, a tiny drop, varnish on there, like so. You can trim that down to the approximate size we want just so it doesn't get in the way of the whip finish and then we can make a whip finish on the underside remove that and replace it in the vise again you can see what's what. And that's it. That's the finished bit of fluff. There. That's the finished uh, sepia paradon. If you enjoy the videos, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.